So how is CrowdStrike delivering phenomenal revenue and cash flow growth when so many tech companies are struggling to achieve uh, anything near this kind of growth? I'm going to try and answer that question in this video by going through a question and answer session that CrowdStrike CEO and CFO held with Wall Street analysts that gave really good insights into what's going on at the company. So I've highlighted some key, key uh, insights from this conference call that I'm going to share with you in this video. I don't think you're going to want to miss this. I think these are really interesting insights. So let's get right into it. Starting with uh, Saket Kalia from Barclays Bank asking about, uh, I'm curious, can you just talk about the general competitive environment? So this was an interesting answer from the CEO of CrowdStrike and the co-founder. Starting by saying our average selling price ASPs remain consistent. Okay, so keep that in mind first that their selling prices are consistent. They haven't lowered their selling prices. But I think when you look at the competitive positioning, just as an example, in the modern endpoint security market share, we are at 17.7% market share. And we gained 3.8 percentage points, which is more share gain than any other vendor, including outpacing Microsoft. That's impressive. They were able to gain that much market share including outpacing Microsoft while not lowering prices like they kept prices the same they didn't lower they didn't say uh, hey let's lower our prices so that we can attract new customers that would be less impressive right it's 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 always easier to gain customers just by lowering your price but that's not really good news for your business right because you're sacrificing profit margins to gain customers you're you're giving something up to gain something but if you're keeping prices the same and you're increasing market share that's impressive that means that your products and services are really hitting home and you're capturing market share because the quality of your product is better than the competitors and so that's demonstration of a competitive advantage moving on Peter Sterling from JP Morgan Chase is asking about how CrowdStrike is resonating with small businesses right because it's harder for small businesses to afford cybersecurity services I'm wondering if you can go to a layer deeper in terms of what you're doing to drive that business and uh, the CEO saying uh, when you think about Falcon Go it's a very lightweight bundle that's perfect for the small business market so they launched this product Falcon Go that's really lightweight it doesn't come with all the bells and whistles of, of total cybersecurity that CrowdStrike is able to offer right it's not their top-of-the-line product but it's a perfect product for small businesses who do not want all the premium features or cannot afford all the premium features just yet and so this allows CrowdStrike to go down market to attract a broader customer base, right? Because there's more small businesses than large businesses. And then they've done some updates in their e-commerce engine to make it more frictionless to acquire customers. So making it easier for smaller companies to sign up to acquire their services, right? Because if you're thinking about small businesses, small businesses may not have specific employees that are assigned the task to you know for let's say cybersecurity procurement right they don't have somebody with that job title it it might just be the owner of the company that also has to go out and buy cybersecurity services and if you make it easier for him or her to purchase that cybersecurity service without him or her needing to do a bunch of research, without needing to set up a meeting with your sales rep, without needing a demonstration and all of that, if you can make it more frictionless, that's going to allow that, uh, that small business owner to close the deal to make that purchase more often.
I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. And then Joel Fishbein from Truist is asking, can you give us more color on any of the larger deals that contributed to the excellent quarter? And uh, the CrowdStrike C CFO, um, I'm going to be sarcastic here and saying how he elaborates by saying we were really pleased with being able to sell an eight-figure de deal into an existing client. So just giving you a little bit of extra information there. Not, I'm sure not as much as this analyst would have liked. But again, just highlighting that they did close an eight-figure deal uh, to an existing client, which, you know, if you're an investor, that is good news. And I will finish the video with this final question and answer here. Uh, coming, the question coming from Matthew Hedberg from RBC Capital Markets asking fast forward a year from now which emerging product do you think you'll look back at having the biggest incremental impact in your fiscal year 2024 and why? The CEO saying we continue to be excited about our identity product because it has tremendous amount of competitive differentiation including against the likes of Microsoft so that's interesting they've got this product that they're really excited about they just launched and it's got a really big competitive advantage even against a giant like Microsoft so CrowdStrike continues to grow its revenue robustly gain market share all while keeping its average prices stable not lowering its prices and increasing and maintaining its free cash flow margins at a very robust rate of 30 percent or higher it's no surprise then that the stock is up double digits already in 2023 and it has a lot of investors excited about CrowdStrike stock all right, but that's all I've got for this video. I hope you've gained some insight out of this uh, question and answer session into how and why CrowdStrike is able to continue growing so robustly when its competitors are, you know, trying their best to keep up with, with this rate of growth. As always, I truly appreciate your viewership. And if you like this video, I'm going to link to a couple of videos at the end of this one that I think you'll also enjoy. So please click on one of those and I'll see you over there.